My name is Paige Clarkson and I'm one of the employability consultants based in the careers and employability team. So my role is to support final year students and graduates supporting the graduate transition and with your first steps after graduation. Just because you're no longer a student at Baspar University doesn't mean to say we can't support you as a graduate. So the Careers and Employability team offers support for up to three years after you've graduated to help you navigate the first steps in your career. The Careers and Employability team have recently set up a new initiative called the Grad Support Unit where you can sign up to secure graduate support for after you've finished. It means we can contact you with careers initiatives that are specifically aimed at graduates such as careers events, graduate webinars, freelance and enterprise funding, job opportunities and more. So don't be a stranger, keep in touch with careers and employability and let us know how you're getting on. You can do that through our My Career platform, which you will have access to as a graduate. You will just need to register for a graduate account, or you can email us at gradsupportunit at bathspa.ac.uk. You'll also be surveyed 15 months after graduation by the National Graduate Outcome Survey. So make sure you fill that out and let us know how you're doing as your responses will help to shape our services for future Bath Spa University students. We're here to help you in any way we can with life after graduation and congratulations on your graduation day. Being part of our alumni community is just a continuation of your journey with us. We still want to hear from you, we still want to talk with you, we still want to hear your news, we want you to be involved in the university continuously because you're important to us, you make us the university that we are. So we can support you as a graduate through numerous ways including career support, they can help you with your CVs, with your interviews, there's graduate placements, there's graduate internships, there's Emerge in the studio which can support creatives in their development and so much more. It's about keeping in contact with us so that we can see how we can best support you. All you need to do is ask, all you need to do is keep in contact. There are numerous ways in which you can support your university and our students post your graduation. Is there a way in which you can support the current students or the applicants coming into the university? Would you be willing to give 
a talk at an open day or an active day, would you be willing to give a talk to some of our current students about where your degree took you and the role that you're doing now. Do you work in an organisation that could provide a placement opportunity for a student or an internship? Are you able to support financially as well? So we have the Harvard Fund and various other funds which support students to enable them to fulfil their potential while they're here. Those who are facing financial barriers sometimes don't don't have the ability to take up all the opportunities. So there are opportunities to support financially as well. But time, expertise, finance, all of those, all of those go into how you can support our students. So there are loads of ways to keep in touch. We send out e-news monthly, which has lots of information about what the university is up to, what our students are up to, what our staff are up to. We provide you with information about all of the events that are taking place on campus, which are student or staff led or, or external people coming in. So there's many ways in which you can still be involved. You can email us, call us, write to us, send us postcards. We'd love to receive a postcard from you all to let us know what you're up to. That'd be fabulous. The main thing is we want you to keep in contact with us and we want you to feel part of our community. Um, you are part of our community and you're really important and we wish you all the very best in everything that you do. We know you'll be amazing.
Gosh, I didn't even have to say anything. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, apologies for the few minutes delay there. As you can see, if you can see in the front, I've got a lot of teachers in. <laughs> in fact, I can remember the days when I was at school being stirred at by the teacher for being late, and I've got a whole room of them here. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. My name's Mark McGuinness. I'm uh, one of the members of the academic staff at the university. I'm also a member of the senior team, and it's my genuine honor uh, to welcome you all to the forum today for this celebration of our graduates' achievements. Let's go for it first time. Go on. Thank you. So I've got two jobs, um, and I'm just here um, really to get preliminaries out of the way first of all. That's my first task, and I'll be speaking specifically to the graduates in a moment about the flow of the ceremony, so you know what to expect, and you're not, um, you know, don't find yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time or anything like that. And my second job is as master of ceremonies. Once we have the academic procession in the room, um, I'll be taking us through the different sequence of events that lead to the conferment of awards. Uh, I'll be introducing people like the Vice-Chancellor, um, you'll see the academic procession and so on as we go through. Now before I get onto those details, we are also available on the internet, we are live streaming at present. Could we have a round of applause for everybody watching wherever they are around the world? Hello to you all, wherever you are, you know, Bristol, Swindon, I don't know. Anywhere you are, I hope it's, I hope it's a lovely day and I hope you get a real feel for this room which has got a really positive feel in it now and I'm sure that will continue over the course of the next hour, hour and a quarter, just so you can pace yourself. Uh, and we'll take you through that um, in the room and uh, on the internet. Now, if you're watching on the live stream, you won't need to do this next thing, which is firstly, could I check that your mobile phone is on silent or switched to off? So just as I go through those preliminaries, if you fumble around, just give that one check. I'd be grateful. That's great. Um, I will start with just a few little thanks. First of all, thanks to Bath Forum. Uh, this is a, a really treasured institution in the city. Um, people come here for all kinds of reasons, not just graduations. Uh, they come here to listen to music. I'll be coming to see the bootleg Beatles the week before Christmas. <laughs> Anyone else is coming? Uh, there's other, other purposes. Schools and colleges use this facility as well for their, their productions and so on. It's a real valued part of city life. And in that sense, I'm really, really glad that we come here for this celebration. I'd also like to thank our friends at Bath College who've allowed us to borrow their facilities today to make things just that much more convenient for you, robing and photography, just really just a, you know, a couple of minutes walk away. Thank you to our colleagues at Bath College. And finally, and I will ask you to give a round of applause to these people, it's my colleagues, many of whom have worked long hours to pull together 
a series of public events, um, some like this one, with over 1,500 people involved. That's no mean feat. I'd just like to say thank you to them, and I hope you'll join me in a round of applause. Makes my next, next staff meeting that little bit easier, that one. So, uh, I will move things along in a moment by bringing in the academic procession, and that's the first thing that will happen. I will ask you all to stand, if you're able to, uh, for the academic procession to enter the room. There's a fanfare, it's a very colourful, very splendid affair. We all wear different robes of the institution we were last in, so I've got different robes to other colleagues. You all wear the robes of this institution, because that's where you're in with us today. So it's a very colourful and splendid affair. They will come and join me up on the stage. They will assemble in the seats here. They've all been given instructions. They've all been given a seat number. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> we'll see how we go on. Uh, the last three people who arrive on the stage will be the head of school, the vice chancellor, and we are also issuing an honorary award today as well. And so they'll be joining us in the middle, in those three seats in the middle. Now, everyone on the procession and everyone in the auditorium, please remain standing until the vice chancellor, who's the person sat in the middle, uh, stood in the middle, when she takes her seat, that's the signal for everybody to sit down. It just makes it nice, nice and tidy if we, if we followed that kind of protocol, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Then I'll move us on um, to the presentation of the honorary award, which you'll hear more in a few minutes' time. Um, the vice chancellor will give a welcome speech. Um, it's not too long, don't worry, it is quite hot. We know, we know it's a, a, a stuffy environment, so we'll get through these as quickly as we can. And then I'll move us on to the presentation of awards to our graduates. And that's the main reason why we're here today. And in so doing, and I speak specifically now to the graduates, um, you will have done a graduation before, or very likely will have done a graduation before, possibly even with us. So you may recall that you'll be asked to stand at a certain point, you'll be maneuvered, that's what it says in the manual, maneuvered to a particular point in the room, which is actually down here on your right in this channel here, and Steve and Naomi, I think, will give you a wave. They'll be there to do name checks to make sure that you're still in the order that you were seated, which reflects the reader's lists that we have up here on the stage. So do please stay in the order. As you get to, to the stage, you'll come up these steps. There is a ramp if you would like to use it. If for some reason, that's absolutely fine if you need to. Um, otherwise, we'll, we'll meet you here at the top step. I will be there to do a final name check and the reader who will be stood here, who's, who's an academic from the school, um, will read your name. You will then process across the stage. That's your moment. Go for it. <laughs> a wave could do it, but we've had all kinds. It's your moment. Use it as you wish. Um, find your family, your friends, your loved ones. Give them a wave. Um, probably draw the line at cartwheels on health and safety grounds. Um, moonwalking, maybe, you know, um, any dance teachers in the room, maybe a few moves, I don't know. Anyway, see what you feel. It's not compulsory, you could just walk straight across, that's fine. On the far side, you'll see some steps. You go down those steps, and you will then be directed back around the auditorium to the seat that you're currently sat in. So, in effect, your steps for today will be in this auditorium, will be just one anti-clockwise circuit of the building. Hopefully that's clear and there's nothing there that was surprising. When we come to the close of the ceremony, I will once again ask you to stand for the academic procession. And the academic procession will exit the building um, through the rooms, at the, through the doors at the back of the building there. Um, once the academic procession has left, and this again specifically to the graduates, there's a lot of people in this room and the foyer that you entered into wouldn't cope with everybody trying to get out at the same time. So the way that we manage this is we, we ask all graduates, and we, we will clap you out of the auditorium, that's your job, to clap, them out of, to clap this lot through that door over there. And that door takes you straight out into the fresh air. There is a road closure notice in place today, so it's safe to just exit the building. We've got people out there to make sure that that's um, exactly as it should be. So we'll exit all the graduates out of the building, and then once the graduates have left the building, through that graduate procession, then obviously your loved ones, your friends, your family, your supporters can then leave the building by any exit 
and, and, and obviously continue your celebrations onwards. Academic staff who are here today, after they've left the auditorium through the rear doors, they will also go around to the side and to the road where the graduates will exit. So they'll be able to wish you well, you'll be able to see your tutor, they'll um, um, wish you good luck and so on. So hopefully that's clear and that keeps everybody safe and keeps the ceremony running smoothly. So I've just got final housekeeping announcements. It's the um, final opportunity to check that mobile phone and check it's switched off. Uh, if, you need train, if you need first aid staff, um, we have trained people in the building. Just get the attention of any member of staff and they'll get that help to you. Uh, should there be a need to evacuate for any reason, an emergency of some form, there will be a very clear announcement that that is what is happening and then just leave by any nearest exit and leave the building, please. Staff will assist on the way out. And then just finally, um, and I say this as a dad, myself, um, two kids, one primary school, one secondary school, and I think like many other people in the room, um, having been through the last three years of disruption, of um, struggling to home educate my kids, I say um, from the bottom of my heart just how much I value the work that teachers do in the classroom every day of their working lives. You are brilliant. I never knew how hard that job was. I do now. I do love my kids, but 10 weeks locked in the same room with them. <laughs> Respect. Right. Would you all please stand for the academic procession? <laughs> to come to work, eh? <laughs> Graduates, your guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I call upon the Vice-Chancellor of Bath Spa University, Professor Sue Rigby, to open this graduation ceremony.
Hello. It's so brilliant to see you all. Um, and I'm sorry it's a bit warm. But if it's any consolation, the ceremonies get hotter every time we run them because a bit of your heat persists for the next ceremony. So you are ceremony four of eight. Could be worse, but it could be very much worse. So try and be as warm as you can so that ceremony five of eight really suffers. <laughs> so friends, graduates, colleagues, a very warm welcome to the Bath Spa University summer graduations. And colleagues, if you would like to, please feel free to remove your hats. We are delighted to those in the university who work so hard to bring off such a complicated event. And I'm sure you'll join me in thanking those people at the front in the brass band who make it such a joyful occasion. But we're here to celebrate the fantastic achievements of our PGCE students, the fantastic graduates who have given the last year of their lives to the most difficult thing you can do, the act of learning, and learning to make real your visions and your dreams. You've all followed an unprecedented and difficult road to get here, and it's so good to see you at this special event. We're also here to award an honorary doctorate in education to Professor Samit Ray, Chairman and Chancellor of Adamas University in India, with whom our university has close and growing ties. Professor Ray has spent 35 years in education with a reach into the upper echelons of business and the Indian civil service. He's made a real difference as an educator and is a lovely role model for all of us here. Each PGCE accomplished comes with a narrative of hard work, late nights, panicked visits to the library, coffee and stress-busting cakes with friends, perhaps something a little stronger on occasion, and a growing sense of confidence and capability. Very few of us emerge unchanged from the process of studying for such a qualification. And indeed we shouldn't, or it would have failed in its purpose. As with any life-changing event, growing up, having children, falling in love, you can't imagine it until you've done it, and then everything is altered. You can't go back now, you are made new, not just as qualified teachers, but as adults with the capacity to learn in a finessed, nuanced and joyful way. And it's not like this is the first time that you've engaged in that kind of transformation. You've done it at least twice. Once in a discipline you loved, and now in a vocation to which you are drawn. So I'd like to take this moment to, to invite our graduates to just have a sense of that reflection. Think about that journey. All that you've accomplished, all of the challenges, all of the points when you WhatsApped or went to a friend and said, I can't do this, this is stupid. I, what do they expect? I mean, really, you know. All of the times when you were really nervous, all of the times when you overcame fear or nerves or just sheer hard work, and that pride that you felt hopefully, incrementally and more frequently through the year. Each of yours is an independent journey, and I'd invite you just to spend a moment thinking about it now. So I don't want to leave it too long because you might have had lunch and you might fall asleep and that would, be, that would be embarrassing. But not until you were due to come up. No one would notice for a bit. Although studying for and receiving a qualification is something individual, at least we really, really hope it was. Don't tell us now if it wasn't. It's accomplished within that supportive framework of friends and family, some of whom are here to celebrate with you today. And in a moment, I'd like to ask you to stand up Turn as best you can to face your friends and family and supporters in the audience and give them a big round of applause. And as you do that, to think about that help that they've given you and also the help you've received from people who can't be here today but at this very moment are only thinking about you and are feeling incredibly proud of all that you've achieved. 
So if you would uh, bid with me now, if you could stand up, turn and face your supporters and give them an enormous round of applause. Well done. Um, I always think it'd be funny if we moved one chair away while you were doing that. <laughs> and it, as teachers, I'd simply expect you to sort that out in moments with no kind of cause for concern at all. So no need to stand up for this one, but can I also ask you to join me in thanking those staff who have taught you and supported you in other ways through your studies. I'm privileged to lead a group of outstanding academics and professionals who have you, their students, always at the heart of what they do. They work late hours, and many of them, and are as delighted by your attainments as you are. So please join me in thanking them now. This is a high point in the university calendar, a day of great joy, but also great sadness. You might think of a university as a cluster of buildings or a set of intellectual attainments, but actually a university is a community of learners, no more and no less. And you have been a central part of that community for the duration of your studies. When you go, the community is lessened and we will miss you. While we'd have it no other way than that you graduate from our world and move on, you leave a big gap and we are very sorry to say goodbye. But keep in touch. You are always part of the Bath Spa community. If we can help you in any way in the future, let us know. And we would love to hear about your successes and stories in the coming years. And we are, as I'm sure you know, a community to be very proud of. Our roots stretch deep back into the 1850s. And since that time, some of Britain's finest artists and teachers have worked with us. But we are a university of the 21st century, designed to meet the challenges of a post-industrial, highly volatile and rapidly changing world. You graduate into uncertain times with an academic and intellectual armory that will allow you to thrive. You are creative, critical, analytical, able to dance on the margins of knowledge and open your mind to the unknown. You don't rush to quick decisions. You don't rush to blame. Rather, you bring your high-level academic skills to bear on a problem or an opportunity. And in doing so, you make the world a better place. A qualification in education has never been more important. Education empowers the future and the people who will make it. It levels inequalities, opens opportunities, changes every child, and hence changes the world. Your skills will help children and adults be their best selves as you bring joy and challenge to their lives. It is the key to a society that can function with informed consent and integrity. It is the bastion against hate and fear and the unquestioning demand to follow the herd. However you choose to use your invaluable skills, we wish you satisfaction and fulfilment in the years to come. Success for you may be in school leadership, in a busy comprehensive, in a small village school, or beyond formal education completely. But remember from here on, there is no external metric of achievement, only the small voice inside that expresses pride and determination as you make your way through life. Every time you do the right thing, or do a good thing, it matters, on whatever stage it happens. 
But if I had to choose a set of people to make a difference and to make things better, it would be you, our graduates. And just now, I can ask no less of you than that you thrive in your life journeys, that you make a difference, and that in doing so, piece by piece, you change everything. You have the rest of your life to spend, and I will be delighted to watch as you spend it wisely and for the benefit of others in these unprecedented times. So well done, graduates. Have a great day. You've earned it, and I congratulate you. Well done. He did this by establishing his tutorial home business and later founded the Rice Group, Roy's Institute of Competitive Examinations in 1985. And this organization has branches and testing centers in most districts in West Bengal. Professor Ray has also founded two charitable trusts, the Sashis Kiran Memorial Trust, named after his late father, and the Samit Ray Foundation, which are di dedicated to diverse social and human humanitarian works. Professor Samit Ray is tireless in pursuing his twin goals of transforming the lives of young people and consolidating West Bengal as a global center of excellence in, educa in education. Adamash University stresses the central importance of the student experience and encourages scholarship, citizenship, and entrepreneurship. He and the university is a valued partner of Bath Spa University. For this, we recognize him by the award of an honorary doctorate, but also to acknowledge his sterling work in West Bengal during the COVID-19 pandemic. Professor Ray organized a quarantine center at his university campus and fed a significant number of COVID suffer sufferers and medical staff for many months during the pandemic. He also offered a large number of studentships to assist students uh, deleteriously affected by the COVID pandemic. His is an extraordinary support for the people of Kolkata, for West Bengal, and for India as a whole. And we are delighted to welcome him to Bath and to Bath Spa University. Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present Professor Samit Ray for the award of Honorary Doctor of Education at Bath Spa University. Thank you. Good afternoon, Professor Shurigwe, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Batspa University, Management and Senate of the University, Dean of Faculties, Member of the Faculty, and the academic community, distinguished guests, dear students, sisters, and brothers. I am truly honored and humbled to accept this honorary doctorate degree conferred on me by the Bath Spa University. I am really touched by the overwhelming reception extended to me as founder chancellor of Adamus University. I value it as a sign of friendship, regard that both Bath Spa University and Adamus University have for each other. The endeavor, initiatives, and contributions of Batspa University 
to the cause of education have been remarkable. You have a focused history of 170 years from being a leader, school of art, you have brought in various other branches of study while still maintaining your leadership position. You have always focused on bringing out the talents of your students and help them to be at their creative best. You have always prompted culture in various forms. Our Indian civilization is one of the most ancient in human history and has been the seat of various cultures. Just as an example to this date, while India has 22 separate official languages, it is home to a total of 121 languages and 270 mother tongues. The state of West Bengal, where I come from, is a land of thinkers, authors, painters, social reformers. Therefore, I am aware how difficult it has been on hold onto your legacy. West Bengal has been in the forefront of literacy, creativity, spiritual helpings and research, and also pioneer in scientific innovations. The great poet, Rabindranath Tagore, Swami Vivekananda, social reformer Vidya Shagor, great thinker Raja Ram Mohan Rai are all sons of the soils of Bengal. Mother Teresa worked for humanity for a long time from Bengal. Adamas University is presently in its seventh year. We are a very young university. When I was setting up Adamas, I had certain principles I wanted to fulfill. The founding principles of Adamas University incorporates sustainability, social inclusivity, internationalism, and regional economic growth. Cultivating the rich diversity of our nations is a hallmark of our university. We encourage one another to celebrate our differences and to foster a community free of intolerance and indiscriminations. I am thankful to my wife, Mrs. Mullikarai, my sons, and my elderly mother for their continuous support, without which I could not become successful. All my life, I have been a teacher and still consider myself as a teacher. I have some beautiful memories of the last 35 years. It is a journey from a professional institute to schools, schools to engineering college, and college to university. With these words, I once again thank Baspa University for confirming upon me this honor. I took forward to your continued friendship and fruitful exchanges with Adamas University. The youth are the future leaders of our respective countries. May you flourish and take your nations to new heights of progress and prosperity. I wish all of you every success in your academic journey and a very bright future. Thank you.
We now move to the presentation of awards to graduates of Bath Spa University, and I call upon the Vice-Chancellor to receive the graduates from the School of Education. I present the following candidate for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education in Primary 5 to 11 with Behaviour Specialism, Kate Butterfield. <clears throat> I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education in Early Years Initial Teacher Training, Laura Anstead. Megan Bokit. Shani Burgess. Alana Castle. Poppy Grice. Chloe Jackman. Laura Montacute, Kate Muxlow, Diana Topper, I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 3 to 7 route, Molly Bamber, Emma Berry, <laughs> Natalie Bradbury, <laughs> Danny Bug, <laughs> Marianne Dayev, <laughs> Rosie Dwick. Libs Fig. <laughs> Becca Hagen. <laughs> Jess Henry. <laughs> Jack Horniman. <laughs> Jade Hunt. <laughs> Sophie Janes. Paige Alex Lee Evans. <laughs> Lucy McFarlane. <laughs> Bethan Parker. <laughs> Yvetta Russ. <laughs> Martha Stark. <laughs> Gemma Thornton. Rebecca Varley, <laughs> Bethan Webley, I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11 route, Jasmine Ayers, <laughs> Victoria Barker, <laughs> Jemima Bellamy, Jess Belston, <laughs> Beth Benton, <laughs> Tamsin Burkett, <laughs> Nikita Braids, <laughs> Laura, Laura Brown, <laughs> Jordan Kyle Burgess. Lara Marie Carey. Shea Chug. Aliyah Cleal. 
Ellie Courtman. Jess Croker. Tony Lee Dootson. Lucy Dunn. Ruby Ellard. Lauren Venables. Chelsea Fisher. Emily Fox. Nicola French. Lucy Friend. Lydia Garten. Ellie George. Hannah Gibbon. Anya Gould. Anna Graham. Hannah Hurley Star. Sheldon Hibbard. Lily Hobbs. Sophie Janes. Lydia Johns. Ella Jones. Kezia Judd. Bethan Kingston Powell. Alice Knight. Katie Lewis. Jessica Long. Imogen Manley. Charlie Markey. Leanna Mason Smith. Poppy Matthews. Sinead Moody. Kerry Morris. Rebecca Mumford. Alicia Picton. Fallon Peeries. Fliss Roberts Harding. Gemma Roderick. Tom Rowden. Jody Shopland. Athia Shuka. George Staples. William Taylor. Kate Tomes. Katie Walker. Leah Weber. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 7 to 11 route. Hal Klein. Finlay Coward. I present the following candidate for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Primary and Early Years Education Practice, Mark Forrest. I present the following candidate for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years, 7 to 11 route, Brianna Jenkins. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary 511 with Arts Specialism. Roberta Boardman. <laughs> Katie Thomas. 
I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary 5 to 11 with Behaviour Specialism, Sophie Chivers. <laughs> Carly Langmead. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary 5 to 11, Jill Coleman Waddington. Emily Fraser. Edward Gibbons. Fiona Hetherington. Sophie Howe. Jamie McDean. Roxanne Welsh. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary with PE Specialism, Gabby Doyle. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary 511 with Science Specialism, Sadia Khan. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11 with Arts Specialism, Anna Barnes. <laughs> Rob Cullard. <laughs> Ella Creswell. <laughs> Abby Herford. <laughs> Naomi Inkledon. Georgia Player, William Rogers, Eloise Rowe, Nicole Sharman, Luca Testa. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Prime and Early Years 5 to 11 with Behaviour Specialism, Lily Blackmore. Heather Smith. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate in Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11 with EAL Specialism, Jennifer Baker. <laughs> Salia Gaik. <laughs> Natasha Lowe. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11 with English Specialism, Sophie Breeze, <laughs> Sophie Harrison, <laughs> Caitlin Mews, <laughs> Bianca Potgita, <laughs> Laura Woodland, I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11 with Mathematics Specialism, Shannon Murray, <laughs> Emily Payne, <laughs> Jessica Mather. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11 with Modern Languages Specialism. Amy Lassotte. <laughs> Emma Morley. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11 with Music Specialism, Georgie Arnold. <laughs> Emma Dolan. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11 with PE Specialism, Olivia Brenner. <laughs> Izzy Carter. <laughs> Bex Fry. <laughs> Holly Ross. 
I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years, 5 to 11, with Science Specialism, Rachel Morehouse. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years, 5 to 11, with SEND Specialism, Temitopi Babatunde. <laughs> Hayley Barrett. Charlotte Butcher. Neve Carey. Harris Challenger. Hannah Chalinor, <laughs> Lauren Dalton, <laughs> Jessica Davis, <laughs> Harry Fowler, <laughs> Livy Hubbard, <laughs> Lily King, <laughs> Tom Mully. Michelle Munslow, Holly Pibworth, Courtney Powell, Madeleine Raymond, Harvey Spitzer, Lottie Wilson. I present the following for the award occasion practice with behaviour specialism. Phoebe Milenovic Kovic, remain. <laughs> I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary 7 to 11 with EAL Specialism, Karen Murdoch. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary 7 to 11 with English Specialism, Lara Davis, John Mark Molyneux, I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary 7 to 11 with Mathematics Specialism, Victoria Ball. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary 7 to 11 with Music Specialism, Sam George. <laughs> Hannah Roberts. <laughs> Hannah Tourney. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary 7 to 11 with SEND Specialism, Charlie Brobin. <laughs> Christian O'Sullivan. <laughs> I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 7 to 11 with PE Specialism, Aaron Connor. Jacob Sloggett. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11 School Direct Training. Brittany Brook. Harris Budniak. Beth Cook. Lee Davis, <laughs> Victoria Eden, <laughs> Beth Foster, <laughs> Laura Gibson, <laughs> Camilla Le Missourier, <laughs> Sarah Riggs. Angela Smith, <laughs> Noah Taylor Dye, <laughs> Anna Thompson, <laughs> Sarah Wheel, <laughs> Lauren West, 
Adele Young. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Primary and Early Years 5 to 11, SEND Specialism School Direct, Julie Baker. <laughs> Shelley Caney. <laughs> Horatio Carr Jones. Sarah Longbottom. for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary English, Rosemary Boyd, <laughs> Flo Davies, <laughs> Kira Kane, <laughs> Sophie Morris, <laughs> Ellie Pedley Coke, <laughs> James Rothenbaugh, <laughs> Jade Simpson, I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary Geography. Sophie Rendell. <laughs> Emma Wake. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary History. Louisa Alvino. <laughs> Shannon Bennett. Andrea Bieda, <laughs> Eloise Gibbons, Will Manthorpe, <laughs> Alyssa Martin, <laughs> Simeon Player, <laughs> Jessica Redland, <laughs> Yian Spires, Squires. <laughs> I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary Maths. Katie Ambrosiak. <laughs> Robbie Burnby. <laughs> Georgia Forder. <laughs> Libby Herbert. <laughs> Uen Hollingsworth. <laughs> Paul Ives Allen. <laughs> Annabelle Kay. Rianne Lee, Amy Maye. I present the following for the Postgraduate Certificate in Secondary Education Practice, Cody Mystery. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary Maths, Holly Palin. Taylor Samuels, Amber Jade Sexton, I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary Music, Alan Barclay, Maisie Began. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary PE, Mike Bancroft, <laughs> Georgina Dell, <laughs> Alistair Dorney, <laughs> Amy Farthing, <laughs> Alicia Hamlin, <laughs> Will Harrison, <laughs> Paddy Hyams, Katie Isles, Sam James, Megan Kilbane, Sean Mitchell, Joshua Morris, Will Patmore, Ben Richards, Martha Slocum, Will Taylor, Chloe Fuel, Naomi Van Dongen, Kate Veal, Harrison Wall. Yeah. 
I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary Religious Education. Laura Blower. <laughs> Louisa Bragg. <laughs> Hannah Bridewell. <laughs> Rob Butler. <laughs> Tyler Dodge. <laughs> Hannah Harper. <laughs> George Sargent Childs. <laughs> Charlie Scott Michelle. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary PE School Direct Training. Abby Ayling. <laughs> Aidan Higgins. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary Religious Education School Direct Training. Matthew McAvoy. I present the following for the award of Postgraduate Certificate of Education in Secondary Art and Design, School Direct Training. Gabriella Church. I present the following for the award of PGCE, Secondary Geography, Alexander Blackwell. <laughs> Amelia Dodds. I present the following for PGCE Secondary Science Chemistry, Isabel Perrington. I present the following for PGCE Chemistry, Chloe Morris. PGCE Secondary Chemistry, we have Ellis Shippers. PGCE Secondary Physics, Flo Carpenter. PGCE Secondary Physics, Lennox Smith. PGCE Secondary Modern Foreign Languages, Ellen Downs. PGCE Primary 5 to 11 Behaviour Specialism, Patricia Jeffrey. <laughs> PGCE Primary and Early Years 5 to 11, Anya Gilliam. <laughs> and PGCE Secondary English, Schools Direct, Kate Room. Vice-Chancellor, in addition to those candidates presented to you here, I commend to you the other candidates listed in absentia for the conferment of their various awards. By my authority as Vice-Chancellor of Bath Spa University, I confer the awards of those candidates here present and those in absentia. Graduates, in full care of the health and safety considerations that you will carry into your schools, you may now remove your hats. Well done. One or two of you may have noticed that as I doffed my cap in respect of your achievements, inside it says, this belongs to Bath Spa University. <laughs> Yours don't. <laughs> they belong to Eden Ravenscroft, and so please make sure that you take one back each so as to avoid difficulty. It's been a lovely afternoon and a pity to close the ceremony, but I would like to do that with a traditional Gaelic blessing.
May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may your God hold you in the palm of his hand. I declare this ceremony closed. Would you please stand for the academic procession?
Thank you. 